Hello everyone and welcome to D20 in Disguise, your source for expertise on world building, storytelling, and miniature making. Now, in today's video, we're going to be covering the basics of how to use an amazing tool called D&D Beyond. Now, this is an official Wizards of the Coast online tool that has forums and homebrew and character creation and source books and so, so much more. It's truly an amazing resource that has been covered in many a tutorial, but I thought I'd give my take on it and how I personally use D&D Beyond in tandem with different D&D source books, my own notes, and World Anvil. If you do end up enjoying today's video, then please be sure to hit that like button and that subscribe button and that notification bell so you don't miss a single one of my videos. But without further ado, let's get right into today's video. Welcome to D20 in Disguise. Now, when you first open up D&D Beyond, you'll be brought to a page that looks something like this. So, let's for a second assume that you don't have a D&D Beyond account. To sign up, all you have to do is click on this little register button. And from here, you can see you can create either an account with Google or with Apple. For me, I've already made an account, so I'm just going to go ahead and sign in real quick. Now that you've created your account, you can finally start exploring everything that D&D Beyond has to offer. So we're going to take it section by section. First, if you go ahead and hover on top of the collections, you can see that this is where you can house all of your custom homebrew material, such as your characters, your campaigns, your monsters, your magical items, and all of your other homebrew creations. Now to create some homebrew, you're going to go on the right here, See all of these little options with create spell, create monster, create magic item. And you're going to click on the corresponding link. So let's say that I'm trying to create a, a magical wand that can create bombs out of thin air. So I'd go to create magic item and I'd be brought to this option area. Now I can create this wand from an already existing magical item if I'd like, or I can create from scratch, as you can see here. So you can click this pop down here and select the magical item that you're going to be basing your new homebrew off of. From there, the process of creating homebrew is pretty simple. You just name your magical item and fill out all of the different stats. And once you save that magical item, you can go into more of the specifics and decide, oh, this is what it visually looks like or this is how many charges it has, or how you regain charges. And this process pretty much goes for any type of homebrew you're creating, whether that's feats, backgrounds, characters, monsters, and the like. Now to pull up all of that beautiful homebrew you just made, all you have to do is go back to collections, click on my homebrew collection, and from there you can see all of your different homebrew. The collections tab also allows you to create custom encounters with different monsters and to use digital dice if you're playing online. To create encounters, go ahead and click on the My Encounters button and click on Create New. Now this allows you to select all sorts of different monsters, select what levels and how many PCs there are in your party. It really allows you to tweak all of those different things that let you get your encounter at the right difficulty that you want it at. Moving on from the collections tab, we get to the game rules, which allow you to surf through all of the different core rule books and all of the different rules for D&D to find exactly what you need in the moment. Now, of course, all of these books aren't originally included with D&D Beyond, just the basic rules. And sadly, if you have physical copies of D&D core rule books, they don't transfer over. So if you're just getting started with GMing, or D&D in general, then if you'd like to, go ahead and buy the books online in the marketplace, where you can buy all sorts of different things digitally on D&D Beyond. We move past game rules into sources, which is essentially a hub of all the different source books and official adventures 
written by Wizards of the Coast. And this is just really a handy hub of source books to have. Next we have the tools section, which is kind of a hodgepodge of different tools which you may use with D&D Beyond, such as the official D&D Beyond Discord bot, or the Twitch extension, things which you might use if maybe you're a D&D streamer or the like. However, the character builder in specific is a very, very nice and easy to use tool, which walks you through the whole process of creating a character. Moving on to the marketplace, where you can buy all sorts of digital resources such as source books or digital dice or the like, which you might use on D&D Beyond or while playing D&D digitally. Next is the media area, where they have all sorts of different official D&D Beyond articles, and the YouTube channel for D&D Beyond, the Twitch channel for D&D Beyond, and all these different resources which might be helpful if you're designing your first campaign, or you have a specific question on how to use a certain rule, or anything else of that ilk. Now, the D&D Beyond forum is very, very nice, because you simply go to the forum, if you have a question, you can ask it in a thread, if you just want to chat with other DMs or players, you can. If you find a topic which you find interesting, you can go ahead and add to the conversation. It's just very nice to have forums where you can discuss with different DMs, players, or anyone else. Another awesome resource on D&D Beyond is the new player guide, which I really, really wish I would have had when I started learning D&D 5th edition. Seriously. It outlines everything in the rules, plain and simple, it explains them very well, and it really gives you a good jump start into playing D&D for the first time. Last but not least, we have the D&D Beyond Quarantine Resources. And now, these are specifically for just the world situation right now, but these are very nice. Essentially, some official adventures, some other resources have been made free for everyone, so you don't have to have a D&D Beyond subscription to use them, which is very nice if you're forced to play digital D&D like I am and like so many other DMs out there are. And that just about covers it for an overview on the amazing resource D&D Beyond. Now, once again, this is an official Wizards of the Coast resource, so you know it's gonna be good. And I would really highly, highly suggest using D&D Beyond to any GMs, any level of player, pretty much anybody interested in the game. Now how I personally use D&D Beyond somewhat varies, but for the most part, I just browse through homebrew on D&D Beyond. Seriously, the fan-made homebrew on D&D Beyond is absolutely massive. You can find pretty much anything you would want, or you can find something close to what you want and create from that. Anyway, you all have a great day. Keep on creating, stay safe, and I will see you in the next video.